quiz rather than input questions. You got a lot of input information. How many people go through the program? Yes. You, you asked about their placement rate and some other things. Yes. There doesn't seem to be a lot of really good information for programs like this around the state as to what their placement rate is, how many people are actually getting jobs and keeping them for how long, um, and it's hard to track. How do you, how can you know that this is, until five, ten years when you see data, how, how will you know that this is a better investment than the way we used to do? Well, it's, it's a great point because one of, the, one of the issues with community colleges and some of our other technical schools is that a lot of them are just, they're independent or they're funded differently and uh, the local uh, sponsor is different. So there really is no uniformity uh, in the state right now. Uh, that's good and bad at the same time. Uh, we have some creativity out there that's working, but we also have no, the bad side is that it, it's hard to sort of monitor what's not working. So as governor, one, Pete, one of the things that I would do is uh, knowing that we're gonna have limited dollars, we wanna reward programs that work. That means you gotta have real results and you gotta look at the statistics. Uh, and the way to do that is statewide. Uh, look at all the community colleges we have, our technical schools, see where we're putting the training money, where we're putting in the grant money, where we're putting in uh, uh, the local match and the sponsorships, and compare and compare the results. Who's actually placing uh, individuals in jobs? Uh, and and what, what types of jobs are they? Uh, because a lot of times, uh, if you have a situation where you have a curriculum that's not matching the needs of the companies, then it's not a very good fit. So I think the challenge for the next governor, Pete, one of the challenges would be is to have an honest evaluation of of what we're doing with the public money, the taxpayers' money, and are we getting uh, a good money for our buck? Uh, are we producing results? Uh, and, and, and that means two things when you do that. You reward the, the, uh, the, the facilities that are actually doing the, the right thing. That means you either gotta have the ones that aren't doing it change what they're doing, or you might have to shift some funding. Uh, I think we're sitting in a facility right now that figured it out. They figured it out on their own, they were creative, and they, they're ahead of the curve on matching uh, the curriculum here, or I should say the four labs with the needs of, of the companies in this region. Uh, this is what we need around the state. The other thing is in your um, comment about Allegheny, you mentioned 500 people came and showed your layoff notices and only 100 people entered. As governor, and even as Allegheny County Exec, you're also in charge of helping the 400 who might not be as driven, as motivated, etc. Yes. Because to the extent that they don't get jobs, they're a drain on the county. They're, Absolutely. They're a drain on the state. What do you do about what do you do about the four hundred? Well, one of the things that I released, uh, and I have seven uh, public uh, policy papers already released, uh, and in my higher ed piece in uh, worker retraining uh, policy paper, uh, we sort of attack it several ways. One, the community colleges. Uh, obviously, I said hundred people actually entered the program. So for those hundred people out of five they actually said, okay, I want to do one of those five programs that you have here, I think I could do that. Uh, obviously, for whatever reason, some of the people that inquired decided not to enter the program. Uh, but we need to attack it from all levels. I mean, one, one part is trying to um, attack the, the, the very high dropout rate from high school that we 